Today I'm going to show you how to create stunning interior shots like this using just SketchUp combined with two game-changing extensions that most people don't even know about. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete workflow that lets you browse world-class BBR materials, add realistic lighting and render professional quality images, all without leaving SketchUp. And I'll show you a secret technique using AI that takes these renders to the next level. First things first, we need to get Polygon extension installed. This extension gives you access to thousands of professional PBA materials directly inside SketchUp. I partnered with Polygon for this video to show you guys their extension because I think it's a huge time saver. Head over to the extension warehouse, search for Polygon and install it. Once it's installed, I like to dock it right here in my toolbar for easy access. Now click the Polygon icon. You will need to log in with your credentials, but don't worry. They have a free tier that gives you access to plenty of materials to get started. Next, select your download folder. This is where all your assets will be stored. And you can always change this later by going to Extensions, Polygon, and then Settings. Here's where things get exciting. You now have access to thousands of professional materials, all categorized. You've got textures, 3D models, HRIs, and even a section just for free assets. So let's say we want flooring. Click on textures, then flooring. And you'll see dozens of options. And if you are looking for something specific, just type it in the search bar. For example, an oak floor. Now I can select the texture resolution from this dropdown. For most projects, 2K is plenty, but if you are doing close-up shots, go with 4K. Click Import and watch this magic happen. The extension downloads the asset and imports it with all the correct PBR settings. Notice how it even imports with the correct real-world scale without any guesswork. And if you accidentally download the wrong resolution, no worries. Just click here to change it and it will save a new copy of this material. Now just apply this oak texture to the floor. Now, materials are only half the story. Without proper lighting, even the best materials will look flat. This is where HRIs come in. Click on the HRIs tab Select one that matches your scene. I'll go with this overcast sky. And click Import. It automatically becomes both your lining and background. And to make this accurate, we need to set the sun location by clicking Edit and then click on the sun's position. But here's where most people stop and that's a mistake. To get truly realistic results, we need real-time feedback, and that's where Lumion View comes in. You can download Lumion View for free from the Lumion website. This extension gives you a real-time renderer directly inside SketchUp, and honestly, it's such a huge improvement over the default viewport. After you have installed the extension, click this icon to load Lumion View. Now you can navigate using the WASD keys and your mouse, just like in a video game. We went from this flat SketchUp view to this photorealistic preview in seconds. And here's a nice feature. You can pin Lumion View to stay on top, so it updates in real time as you work. I'll dock it here at the bottom so we can see our changes instantly. Now let's start adding materials to bring this scene to life. Starting with the sink, I'm going to apply this matte black metal texture. For the countertop and backsplash, I'm selecting this beautiful marble texture. You can see how realistic it looks in Lumion View. Now for the kitchen cabinets, I'll use this ABS plastic texture. It gives that modern, clean finish I'm after. I'm going to duplicate this material and make it slightly darker for the side cabinet doors. 
This creates visual hierarchy and prevents everything from looking too uniform. Now, for these small stairs, I'm applying an oak wood veneer. The wood grain direction is wrong, so we need to right click, go to texture, then position, and rotate it 90 degrees. See the difference? The grain now flows naturally with the stairs instead of against them. This tiny detail makes a huge impact on realism. For the walls, I'm choosing this fine aggregate plaster texture. This subtle imperfection is what makes it look like a real painted wall instead of a computer-generated surface. The ceiling gets this board form concrete material, and I'm adjusting the position so the lines align perfectly with the ceiling edges. These details matter when you are going for photorealism. Let's just add a material to the balcony wall and another to the ground floor. One for the railings and the same for the window frames. Now for this side cabinet, I'm copying the material from the kitchen cabinets, but making it a shade darker. This creates depth and visual interest. For the top surface, I'm using this rich walnut material and adjusting the roughness to make it more reflective. And there we have it. Our high quality material foundation is complete. Before we move to models, if you'd like to take your renders to the next level, I invite you to check out my Lumen Render course. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let's populate our scene. Switch back to the Polygon extension and click on Models. Let's search for Sofa. When you import a model, you will see this pop-up about proxy models. Basically, it imports a lower poly version for better performance, while keeping the high quality version for final rendering if you are using V-Ray. But don't worry, I'll show you how to handle this later. I am starting with this glove couch model. Even though it imports as an optimized proxy version with reduced geometry, the detail is quite nice in the real-time view. Now, I will add this coffee table, but here's where storytelling comes in. I'm adding these headphones on top. Small details like this suggest someone actually lives here, and every great interior needs some greenery. So I'm adding this plant for that pop of natural color. Now, I'll place some decoration on top of the side cabinet. These antique books give a nice touch, but I don't want them looking too perfect. So I'm entering the group, deleting a couple and adjusting their positions. Now, add some artwork on the wall to help fill that vertical space. Moving to the kitchen area, I'm selecting this tiny table. I'll swap out this texture for the same walnut we use on the side cabinet. This creates material consistency throughout the space, and I'm adjusting the scale to fit the proportions. Completing the dining area with a couple of these modern chairs and adding some decor pieces on top of the table. Finally, let's add some kitchen essentials to the countertop some utensils, maybe a cutting board. These practical elements make the kitchen feel functional. And this is how our fully furnished space looks. Now, here's what really makes a difference in your renders. The lighting setup. In Lumen View, click this icon to add artificial lights. Select Line Light, this is perfect for under cabinet lighting. I'll set the width to 3 meters and position it under the kitchen counter. Now adjust the intensity and change the light color by simply selecting the light material and adjusting the color. See how it updates in real time? I prefer this slightly warmer color. But here's something that can make your lighting look like a professional photo. Add area lights by the windows. This simulates that beautiful indirect light you see in professional photography. Select area light and position it next to the window. 
adjust the brightness and color temperature and you will notice how much softer and more natural the lighting becomes. Now, in SketchUp, press Z on your keyboard to set the focal length. I'll use 60 for a natural perspective. In the Scenes tab, click the plus icon to save this camera position. You can save multiple scenes with different angles and focal length. In Lumen View, click the third icon for rendering options. You can render up to 4K resolution with different aspect ratios, 16x9 for standard, 9x16 for vertical social media posts, or 1x1 for Instagram. Now click Render to File and watch how fast this processes. We are talking seconds, not hours. Now here's where things get really interesting. Take your rendered image into Photoshop and make basic adjustments using Camera Raw, just levels and maybe some color correction. Now, crop the areas that have the low-poly models and save them as separate files. Then take this to Magnific AI. But you can do this with any other AI upscaler, like Krea AI for example. But in my case, I'll use Magnific. First, I upscale the full render with these settings. 3D rendering mode, creativity set to 5, and I usually upscale with 3 or 4 different settings then merge the best parts from each result. Let's have a look at the generated images. The difference is incredible, especially considering how quick this workflow is. Then just take them back to Photoshop and merge areas that look best from each image, while masking some areas that don't look as good. And here's the final look at the rendered image after making the post-production. So there you have it, a complete workflow for creating photorealistic interior renders using SketchUp, Polygon and Lumion View. The combination of professional materials, real-time rendering and AI enhancement gives you results that rival expensive rendering software. Just head over to polygon.com slash nunosilva to get a 10% discount on your next subscription. If this helped you leveling up your rendering aim, smash that like button and subscribe for more SketchUp tutorials. And if you create something amazing using this workflow, tag me on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys create. What type of interior would you like to see me render next? Drop your suggestions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.